Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We're gonna be covering today the footwork patterns on the first strike forehand. If you haven't seen our first video on the first strike forehand, I'm gonna put it up, a link right here, you can check that out. But otherwise, Todd is gonna to explain more. Now there's four main footwork patterns that you're gonna to have to learn after a strong serve or a strong return of serve. You're gonna to have to learn how to move to your right by getting into your ready position, doing your unit turning, running to the right. You're gonna to have to learn how to do your unit turning and back pedal so you can run around your backhand to hit that inside out or inside in forehand. And you're also gonna to have to learn how to move up for a short ball. We're gonna give you two different ways on handling that short ball as you move forward. Now there's two things that are gonna happen after a strong first serve or a strong return of serve, and that is your opponent's most likely gonna to try to play that ball to your backhand. So what we wanna do is, because it's a weaker return, we wanna get turned and run around it and play it as a forehand. The way that we do that is we do our split step, we do our unit turn, and now we're pivoted and totally sideways, and we're gonna back pedal to run around that backhand and hit a forehand. The most important step is this one here. I want to slide that left foot back and I want to get into my semi-open stance. From here, I use my legs. I can play the ball back here late and play an inside out forehand cross court, or I can release a little earlier out in front and pull it cross court over here and play the inside in forehand. I'll show you what both of those look like. First, the inside out forehand. I do my split step, my unit turn, I pivot, and now I'm gonna back pedal. Back pedal, slide that left foot back, and play that ball inside out, right on the line. Shuffle back, back to my ready position. Get into my ready position again, same thing. I split, I do my unit turn, I pivot, I start back pedaling, I slide that left foot back, and now I play that ball early so that I go inside out and play it down the line. By having the forehand from the ad side, I have much more range of motion. I can play the inside out and get that ball to curve to the right, or I can get on the outside and hook that inside in and pull it off the court. It's much more aggressive than playing a backhand from that position. The next footwork pattern in this first strike forehand is understanding how to handle or move to the short ball. And there's a couple different ways. Uh, I'm going to show you the way that I prefer first, but I'm going to also show you an alternative way that a lot of people use. Uh, when we, I get a short ball, here's the one thing that you wouldn't want to do. If I get this short ball and I just stay face on like this and I hit my ball like that and I don't get the unit turn that we talked about on the previous video, uh, I'm not doing the best job that I can with that short ball. So I got to make sure that I can get a little bit sideways. That being said, I run straight at the ball, but I turn my upper body to hit the shot. I really like hitting the open stance on the approach shot. I think it's a great shot. I use it well. So that would look like this. If I get that short ball, I'm going to run up here like this. I'm going to set it, and then I'm going to hit my shot. And that's probably my preferred way to hit that ball. So one more time, I'm going to set this right foot when I get there. I'm running straight. I'm setting the right foot, and then I'm hitting the ball. But there's an alternative to that. You don't have to do that one. If you're watching these demonstrations right here and you are still unsure of how to properly move your feet, next week's video is going to give you specific drills on how to master these footwork patterns. So the alternative way to approach the ball would be side shuffling and hitting off this left foot. So that's going to look like this. I come in, I side shuffle here, I hit off the left foot, and then I rip the ball. That one is totally acceptable too. They're both great. I just prefer that open stance. Regardless of how you do it, get up to the ball, either get your front foot set or your right foot set as you hit that ball, or take your side steps to hit that ball. Get up there quickly, make sure that you're on an offensive forehand. The last footwork pattern is probably the easiest, and that's when the ball either comes right to you or moves off to the right to your strength, which is my forehand on the right side. After the server return, I'm gonna do my split step and get into my ready position. I've got my forehand grip. The first thing I do is I do my unit turn, and from here I can pivot and get into my semi-open stance and rip that forehand from here. If the ball pushes me a little bit off to the right, when I split and do my unit turn, I get my toes pointed this way, and now I'm gonna to run to the ball that way, but my racket's already starting to go back. So as I run this way, I'm moving this way, I'm gonna set up 
load on my right and I can play that ball early cross court or I can hold on my right leg and play it down the line. I'll do both of those. The first one, I'm gonna split and play that ball cross court. Split step, unit turn, setting my feet up off the right leg and play that ball cross court. Now, if I wanna hold and play it a little bit later, I can play that ball down the line, but I've gotta get over here when I play the ball down the line because I'm out of position. Split step, unit turn, I'm shuff, setting up little steps to the ball, hold, and I play that ball down the line. Either way, I'm in an offensive position. I'm learning how to use that forehand as a first strike ball and to take offense after that first serve or return. All right, so now you have four great footwork patterns for that first strike ball. When you hit a big first serve or a big return, you've got to learn how to set your feet up so you can rip that first ball forehand. If you guys found some value in this video here, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you're new to this channel, and also check out TennisBeyond.com for the tennis camp that we have in Palm Springs during the BNP Open. Yep, that's March of 2020. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week.